Welcome, I'm Kenneth Andre, Tengajutsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Everything that I share and say endures for a reason. If this sounds like a contradiction, there isn't investigate further. Hope you're all doing well out there. I do feel this urgency now. This video is a message from Spirit. I urge you to be present and pay attention. If you've been following me for a while, I've shared this with you. Okay, hopefully you can see that. We are out of time. So this is like a message in a bottle. The message, the letter in us. All right. I urge you to be present and pay attention to what's being said here. It kind of reveals a lot more to the things that I've been sharing with you from my father. I'm here to glorify my father. The truth, the light, that's in us, the word. So I got a comment asking about Jesus being slain before the foundation of the earth. I'm glad someone picked, picked up on that. And the way that many of us are feeling, I got up this morning with spirit and this message has been put together. So, we're going to start with John 1, 29. Right, then we're going to go to verse 36. The next day, John seeth Jesus coming unto him and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. So Jesus is the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. All right, And looking upon Jesus, which is in us, as he walked, he, he said, behold, the Lamb of God, right? So now we know that Lord Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God, okay? Um, everything I've been saying, I'm backing up here. Because your religious belief systems want you to believe in a Jesus Christ who was crucified on a cross 2,000 years ago. The physical man, you foolish Galatians, who has betrayed this message to you right how can he be crucified on a cross after being hanged on a tree as told us in scripture this is about spirit the word that's in us we are the souls entered the matrix from our father to go on a journey that we would return with the crown of glory the crown of life eternal life in the expansion of ourselves back home in our land right which is the parable of the prodigal son so we've established that jesus is the lamb right which i've shared scripture with you now revelation 13 8 and all the people who belong to this world worship the beast that's everyone as a default worshiping the first earthly man adam they are the ones whose names were not written in the book of life, but belong to the lamb who was slaughtered before the world was made. Before the world was made, the lamb of God. Well, that imagery, that message in the religious belief systems tell us that was 2000 years ago. But that makes no sense. And it's not even written in scripture. Because God will have it that everyone is saved. Those who would confess and turn to spirit, no matter what age we find ourselves in. Because time is not what we've been told. We're in cycles, in the lake of fire, in eternity, which is cycles. Okay, until we get it. If we don't, we, we will be reset, retrograde. Okay, repeat. Now it starts to make sense. I do like the King James Version. And all that dwelleth, dwell on, upon the earth will worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Okay, we were showing the play before we came here. Jesus, the Lamb, whereby we are baptized into death, where he is pinned to the cross, our body, pick up your cross daily coming into the world is slain 
We have complete amnesia. The Garden of Eden cut down. We become a stump waiting for Jesse, all right? Where we get then this sequences of events where Jesus reveals who he is to John, which is us. God makes known the end from the beginning. What was the beginning? The Garden of Eden. But if we read scripture, we learn it's all cut down. All right. We are the branches. Jesus Christ is the vine. All right. The vine, consciousness, mind, the pattern man, the word being developed in us that we would come into maturity. OK. First Peter 1. 120. He was known before the foundation of the world, but was revealed in the last times for your sake. Here we are. OK, now the God is being restored. The tree. OK, we now come from a place of life, the tree of life. OK, death is the last enemy we must overcome. Separate from this world. We see the play. We understand the message. We detach ourselves from it. We're waiting for transition translation a mystical experience to wake up in a wonderful new reality where our mansions the desires of the heart is erected all around us it's in the scripture for those who really pay attention seeking god and understanding where we are aware of god teaching us not the hearing of man revelation 3 5 look oh sorry like them he was over, he, sorry, he who overcomes will be dressed in white and I will never bolt out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and his angels. This sounds strange. Remember, he's being formed in us. We live and move and have our being in God and God in us. He's the all in all. And he's teaching us, his son, that we would come into maturity and be like he is. We will see God in full, as told in scripture. And even though we do not know what we will become, we know that when he appears, we will be like him. I'm trying to paraphrase from Bible. All right. There's a lot to get out. Revelation 3.10. Because you have kept my command, my command to, per to persevere, all right, which many of us are and were struggling, groaning which was prophesied, okay, because you have kept my command to persevere, I will also keep you from the hour of testing. Remember, this has been a game we've been in. That is about to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on it. All right. We are not appointed to wrath now. Okay. We are the fiery beings on the sea of glass, seeing clearly, coming out of the lake of fire. Hence, we're a fiery being. All right, playing a new tune, a new thought, word, and deed. Okay, stringing the, the, the chords of the heart. Waiting now for Father to collect that which belongs to Him, which we are told that's what He does. It's the harvest. All right, for the harvest, the harvest is for angels. So now the Son crying out on the cross, us with maturity, the braided beard. Father upon the land. When he visits, Jesus comes to reward all those who do who have done the works. Right? Says, right. Out you get. Right? There's an event. There's a pause. There's a relocation of souls. All right. Those who are in spirit and in truth. That's it. It's game over for you. All right. You come into heir of the kingdom, inheritance. Okay, let me pause there. Now, I've mentioned this has been a strange world, and I look at it as symbols, a screen. It's a matrix. It's an AI, virtual, biological, computer, womb system. Now, this may sound strange. This has taken me many years studying day and night going through processes to really see the nature of this strange land that I'm in. And it is strange. It's not our home. Ephesians 1, 4. According as to he that, cho that chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, 
that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. All right. I've got nothing but love towards everyone because I've seen the nature of this world. I've seen the play. I've played as the first earthly man, Adam. I've got my treasures of darkness. I've been there, experienced it. And yes, it is prophesied. It's a script. It's going to get dark. It's going to get worse. Hence, we have an exit. The door. We are told about the door because we want to exit this age and realm. We stepped into this age back in the year 2012 where something went. Something went on. Where we emerged into a timeline where is the degradation of reality, but we grew exponentially. This was all prophesied in the Bible. Let me pause that. Now we've been lied to about everything in this world. The whole world is deceived, as told us in scripture. The devil is a murderer and a liar from the beginning. Okay, and so we have these archetypal figures, patterns that unfold within us, the morning star, that becomes the bright morning star. We flip from the first earthly man, Adam, to the heavenly man, Adam. We don't belong to this world anymore. We are ready to return home through the door. Matthew 25, 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Remember I said, We've seen the vision from the beginning. We were showing this whole play before we even came into the world. And in the beginning of our awakening, where the book is opened up, we get that vision again. We become loyal images to that vision, learning of the nature of this world with our wisdom. Our vase is full. We are ready and waiting and watching, as told in Scripture. Acts 13, 48. When the Gentiles heard this, they rejoiced and glorified the word of the Lord. And all who were appointed for eternal life believed. All right. You don't get eternal life in this world. All right. Death is the last enemy we must overcome. We've stuck on eternity already. There's nothing but death and destruction, insanities, profanities. It's the black goo. It's the world of Egypt, Sodom, all right? It's the Jewat. We want to go up. Ephesians 4, 2. With all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love. Help each other up. This is what I'm here to do. Give you the truth. Help lift you up. We must endure. Persevere, okay? Keep in prayer knowing that Father is with us. I love it that Father, again, 10.10. 10. All right, straight away. Look at the time, 10.10. 10. Thank you, Father. All right, go out. I see feathers, birds act strange. I see Father is with me and it encourages me, keeps me strong. I keep going. And there's many other signs I, I receive. Oh, what's happened there? Okay. So John 7, 39, he was speaking about the spirit, right? It, Jesus said, my words about the spirit, whom those who believe in him were later to receive. For the spirit had not yet been given. Now it has, because Jesus had not yet been glorified. What have I been saying in my videos? I'm here to glorify my father, the Lord Jesus Christ in us. Many of us have been doing this. If you pay attention. And so now we're in that time. The end. John 14, 21. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them is the one who loves me. Wisdom, Christ Sophia. All right. There's something I want to say. Hang on. The one who loves me will be loved by my father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. You see me, you see the Father. The same is true of you. St. Paul's there. So what is the last trumpet? Pay attention to scripture. The last trumpet is the revealing of the mystery in us, glorifying Father. Then we do not know the day or the hour with the visitation of the Lord. And this is going to be an hor a horrific event. 
for those who have not got it, they're going to be put to shame, as it says. And there's going to be these mystical supernatural events now that are going to unfold. And there's a relocation of souls, etc. There's massive changes about to occur. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, the first fruit, the pattern man, before the foundation of the world, given unto his chosen. His elect, his remnant, the 144,000, his peculiar people, that they would help in the adoption of man into the body of Christ, into light and truth, extending their curtains, praying for the friends and family, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Now pay attention. John 1, 18. No one has ever seen God, but the one and only son, who is himself God, and this at the father's side and this sorry and this at his father's side has made him known let me say it again i do apologize who is himself god and is at father's side I do apologize a lot of verses getting out has made him known have i not made you known where father is okay you are the son of the most high jesus christ said did you not know that you're children of the most high all of you are gods, children of the Most High. Greater is he that is in me than me that's in the world. We are sons and heirs to the Most High, to the Father, which I have been, in which I have been proclaiming and decreeing throughout my videos. The truth, the mystery. So I'm going to finish off with this and then go. Psalms 2, 7. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said to me, you are my son. Today I have begotten you. Father always discloses things to us. A message in the bottle. Deep call to deep. All right. We are getting ready to be ushered onto land. All right. Into the world of the living. We've been in the realm of the dead. It's here. All right. We've been enduring. Long suffering. Many of us have gone through a lot. We are groaning and waiting for a wonderful transformation. Love is the truth. I'm here to glorify my father. That's in us all. The only difference between me and anyone else is time and wisdom. And yet it's here. The salvation is a free gift. It's always been here. It was done before the foundation of the world. That's the truth. Do not do not listen to your religious indoctrinations. He's in, he's in here. He's in here. All right. He knows you. You belong to the father. All you have to do is turn away from this world, right? Open that door. He's knocking and now he's at the door, ready to reward, ready to reward, ready to reward all those who have done the works. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave it there before I struggle with my words. A lot of verses again to go out. Okay, I really do hope you're doing well. Hang in there. I'm Kenneth Andre, Tango Jitsu Master and Mystic Messenger. Hope this shouts out. Love you guys. Have a good day.